Hey there, I'm working on my water treatment system and this is the part of it. In this green area living a lot of bacteria and they need to get fresh air. This fresh air will be supplied by these tubes and let's have a look from the bottom on our system. And I'd like to show you how we can use add-on cat transform to arrange these tube elements. For example, I need to know what the distance between these two points have the one third of this distance. Okay, let's measure the distance. I press G using add on cat transform, then I select this origin point and then I go till here to this another origin point. I have 42591 centimeter. That's cool. I know the distance now and I select the elements I'd like to move. And at first I will move these elements just to this axis. I press G, then I snap one of the origin points and I select the Y axis and move this whole construction along the Y axis till I can grab this origin point. So I snap at this origin point. Now I am here and I can move this construction to the one third mm. beginning from this origin point on this distance. So now I press one more time G, then I select one of the origin points and one more time I'd like to select the Y axis. And as you see, if I move my objects, they are snapping to each of these entities you see here on the screen, those green and gray points. And I don't want being able to snap to them. In this case, I press shift and space and all snapping options are deactivated. So now I am able to simply dial the number or distance I'd like to move my system. And for this I dial 42.591 space centimeter. And I divide this distance by 3 to get one third. So and now I confirm this by pressing enter. So simple you can move the elements around. In the next video I am going to give you more quick tips about using the add-on cat transform and I would like to compare these tools to default tools which we use in Blender in the version 4.0. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.